Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day you're watching this at. My name's Alex, as always, or Mr. D. What up? And you might be wondering, why is there a bird on my head? Well, that's a good question, and that's a very strange question, and I bet you never thought you'd be asking that, but here we go. So, today is Friday, and what I'm going to be doing is, every Friday, I'm going to be doing a different themed video, just so you guys can have a little bit of fun and dressing up and stuff, just because really it's a little bit boring just to kind of wear normal clothes all the time, right? Right? Fair. Cool. So today, all of our warm-up is going to be, you guessed it, bird-related. Perfect. So I know today it's a little bit weird. If you don't have a bird costume, that's okay. Don't worry about dressing up like a bird. But I'll be posting every Monday what the theme for Friday will be. So if you guys want to dress up just like I'm going to be dressing up every Friday, then you guys will have a lot of time ahead of time to plan what you're going to be wearing. So today is our bird workout. So every exercise that we do for the warm up is going to be bird related. So the first exercise that we're going to do is based off of the flamingo. Ooh, fancy flamingo. And get you guys to stand up nice and straight. And I get you to bring your left leg up and bring it up like this. And I want you to focus on a spot on the wall, just like a flamingo does. Because for those who don't know, flamingos love to stand on one foot. That's kind of like their thing when they're hanging out in the water. It may even look like they only have one leg, but they just tuck it in really close into their feathers and it looks really cool. So we're going to stay like this for 10 seconds, and then we'll switch legs, and we'll do the other one. Cool? Let's rock. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And put that leg down, shake it out a little bit, shake, 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 shake. And then we're going to do the other leg, bring it on up, and we're going to hold it for another 10 seconds. Ready to go? And... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. For our next exercise, I'm going to get you guys to go down onto the ground, and we're going to do an exercise based off of my favorite animal of all time, not just my favorite bird, but my favorite animal of all time. It's going to be based off of the penguin. And penguins love to slide on their bellies. So what I want you to do is get onto your belly. And I want you to bring your feet up like this. And I want you to hold onto your feet like this. And I want you to pull up like this. Ooh, and we're going to hold it for 10 seconds. All right, so everybody get into that position. And we're going to count together. Ready? Don't forget to breathe during this, okay, guys? It's the most important thing. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Good job, guys. So now, we're going to be getting on to some of the birds that you kind of already know about. So when birds fly, they, of course, have to flap their wings. And we have our kind of wings. Our wings are kind of our arms. So we're going to do three different arm exercises because a lot of bigger birds out there so we're talking like eagles and hawks and stuff like that they don't really have to flap their wings very much because they have such big wings they just glide through the air so what we're going to do is we're going to put our wings up like this and i want you to just glide through the air like me just go gliding through the air and we're going to do this for about five seconds if you want you can give it a big caca because it's just fun so we go five four three two one perfect and now we're going to do something that i'm pretty sure everybody here has seen we're going to do a seagull so seagulls are kind of like medium-sized birds they're kind of like not too small but not too big so they have to flap their wings sometimes so we're going to put our arms up and we're going to flap our wings kind of medium speed about 10 seconds worth okay so we're going to go one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the last bird we're going to do, these are the weirdest birds in the world. I love them, though. 
They're the hummingbird. And hummingbirds have really tiny little wings, but they flap them super, 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 super fast. So I want you to have your tiny little wings out like this. And I want you to flap it really, really quick. We're not going to go with any rhythm or anything. We're just going to flap as quick as we can. And we're going to count all the way up to 20. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, woo! Whew. That was a little tiring. I can only imagine what it must be like to actually fly like that all the time. And the last bird we're gonna do is the owl. And the really cool part about owls is that they can turn their heads almost completely around their body. Now we're not gonna do that because that might hurt a little bit, but what we're just gonna do is we're gonna start to look to the right or to the left and we're going to roll our head down to the side. Don't go fully around because it's not very good for your neck. And then we're just going to roll back. And we'll do this about five times. Okay, ready? And one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect job, guys. Now we're ready to do the actual full-on workout. Woo! So now we're going to move on to day two of our workout. And what I'm going to do going forward is I'm going to post um, the warm-up separate from the full-on workout. So if you like this bird warm-up, then what you can do is just go into a little warm-up section of the YouTube channel and just click that so you can do your warm-up so you don't have to do the warm-up that I'm doing with the video every day. So what I'm going to be doing then is I'm going to be uploading this with the warm-up attached, but also separate. So every day from now on, I'm just going to be uploading a warm-up separate, as well as an exercise separate. But I'll also have a link to the warm-up in the workout section below. Alright, cool. So now we're going to move on to the actual meat and potatoes, or the carrots and potatoes section of this workout. Ready guys? Let's rock. So we're going to start off today with doing a little bit of an ab slash arm workout. And this one, what I need you to do is we're going to get ourselves into the push-up position like this. So if you don't know what that looks like, it's just like this where you have your feet all the way back and your hands are going to be apart like this. And the part that's going to work our abs with this, because we're not doing push-ups, we're going to do a weird kind of planking thing where we're going to go up like this and then you go down with one arm onto your arm like this kind of thing so it's like kind of like like this like flat on the ground and then you're gonna go down onto the other one then you go up and up and then down and down and up and up and if you're finding that it's too hard then instead of going all the way up like this then you can just go down onto your knees and do it from there and that'll kind of make it a little bit easier as you go and down and down and up and up that's one down and down and up and up, that's two. Down and down and up and up, that's three. Down and down and up and up, that's four. Down, down, up, up, it's five. Down, down, up, up, it's six. Down, down, up, up, it's seven. Remembering to breathe. Down and down and up and up. Down and down and up and up. Down and down and up. Up and up and down and down and up and up and I'm pretty sure that was 10 I won't lie I, I lost count so if you remember then that's perfect if it was only nine then do another one for me if it was 11 then good job we did more than we were supposed to perfect let's move on so because one of the most popular workouts from yesterday was using a stuffed animal I want you to go and pause it now and go get another one of your stuffed animals and this time I want you to grab the longest stuffed animal that you have or at least a fairly long one this is biscuit say hi biscuit hi biscuit that was a joke um, and then when you come back we're going to be doing our next exercise with our stuffed animals again good perfect and so the reason why I wanted you to get your longest stuffed animal is because I want you guys lying on your backs like this I want you to put your stuffed animal in your hands like this and we're going to do some bench presses with our animals so a bench press basically you just lie on your back have your 
stuffed animal in your hands like this, and you're gonna lift it up, and you're gonna go, lift up your stuffed animal up to here, and then bring it all the way down. Oh, it's so heavy. And you never want to have your arms resting on the ground or the stuffed animal resting in your chest because you want to be able to work your arms and keeping it going. So when you guys are ready, we're going to start. We're going to do 10 stuffed animal bench presses. All right. Ready? We're going to count. start on the count of three. One, two, three. And up. One, two, three. Four, remember to breathe, five, six, seven, Biscuit, how you doing? Good. Eight, nine, and ten. Good job, Biscuit. Good job, Alex. Oh, thank you, Biscuit. You're welcome. And... That's it for our stuffed animals. If you'd like, you can have your stuffed animal watch you through the last, the rest of the workout. But if not, then you can say goodbye. And I think for now, we're gonna move on and do some classic jumping jacks again. If you watched yesterday's video, then you know the modified super extreme jumping jack that you can try if you wanna be a little bit fancier. I'll demonstrate that really quick. So a normal jumping jack is standing up nice and straight again and go up and down like that. But the next level extreme crazy um, jumping jack is you go up, then forward, and then like this. So you can do either one you want. One just adds a little extra to it, which makes it a little bit trickier to do. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to do the normal typical one. And we're going to do 25 jumping jacks now. So when you guys are ready, we're going to start nice and straight, nice and straight, loose it out, shake it out, shake it out. Perfect. And remember to breathe while we do it, and we'll count together all the way up to 25. And we're going to count, we're going to start on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Awesome job, guys. Perfect. And if you're doing the extreme push or extreme uh, jumping jacks and stuff, then it's probably going to take you a little bit longer. So I'm just going to keep talking a little bit here just so you don't have to pause the video or anything. But good job. Excellent form. Good work. Remembering to breathe the whole time. Cool guys. All right, we're gonna move on to the next bit. So this is gonna be the second last workout for today. And we're gonna do another classroom favorite of ours. And we're gonna do a bridge. Woo, bridging, woo. Everybody loves the bridge. So there's two different ways of doing the bridge. There's kind of like the easier way and then there's the harder way. And I'm just gonna start off by saying whatever way you're choosing, remember to use your arms only, not your head. You should never be resting on your head just because it's very delicate. And if you hurt your head, then you hurt a lot of your body too. So you want to be very careful just to use your arms. Okay, perfect. I'm going to demonstrate the easier way of doing the bridge first, and then I'll demonstrate the more difficult way. So the easier bridge, all you're going to do is you're basically going to go into a reversed push-up position. And you want to look like a table. You want to look nice and flat like a table like this. Cool? And you're going to just hold this for the easier version of it. The more difficult version is, and my head might turn red when I do this because it's hard, but as remember, it's very important to breathe during the whole time. You want to go back and you want to bring your hands back like this and go up like this. And this is the part where I was talking about, don't ever rest on your head. You want to have your hands up like this. Cool? So the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to be doing the easier version of the bridge just so you guys can follow along at home. But if you want to try the more difficult version, absolutely go for it. But we're going to go into it and we're going to hold it for 10 seconds. Perfect. All right. And get yourself into the bridge. We're remembering to breathe the whole time and counting on the count of three. One, two, three. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, guys. And to finish it off, I think it's quite fitting that we do everyone's super favorite exercise. Oh no, Mr. D, don't do it. Yes, I think we're gonna do it. Oh no, don't do it. Oh, don't, oh, oh. We're gonna do some burpees. Yay, no, yay. Excellent. So I think we're gonna do one more burpee than yesterday. And we're gonna do seven burpees today. Cause we did six yesterday. Six plus one is seven. So let's ready to rock. If you don't remember how to do a burpee, I'm gonna demonstrate real quick. You stand up like this, shake it out first, loosey goosey. Then you're gonna jump up and go down into a push up. And then go back up and jump up and go down into a push up. Cool? If you can't do the push up part, don't worry about it. We'll just modify it like that so you can do it a little bit easier. But I'm gonna do the push up part. If you can't, then that's no problem. Don't worry about it at all. All right, so everybody stand up nicely. Remember, we're gonna breathe the whole time. Are we ready? We're gonna do seven of them. Cool. And three, two, one, go. Jump up and down and up. That's one. Up, down, and up. That's two. Down and up. That's three. Down and up. That's four. Down and up. That's five. Down and up. That's six. Down and up. That's seven. All right. Awesome work, guys. I hope you guys are sweating, because I'm definitely sweating. I'm definitely feeling it, and I love it. It's good stuff. All right. And just like how a warm-up is really important, so is the cool-down. So come along, and we're going to do a cool-down activity together, and we'll go from there. And now I want you to bring your legs into a crisscross. Crisscross applesauce, as they say. I've never understood that really. I don't know what applesauce has anything to do with crisscross or legs or anything. I think it might just rhyme so they do it because it's fun. Um, yeah, but yeah. Then we're going to do it into a crisscross. And I want you to put one hand up. And I want you to bend over and stretch it out. And we're going to count to the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. And back up. And put the other arm over and we're gonna bend over, stretch it for another five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And now I want you to just stand and kind of sit with your hands crossed like this. And just relax. Enjoy the quiet. If you don't have any quiet, then that's okay. Lives are busy, people are busy. Just try to focus the best you can on the coolest sound that you're hearing right now. So if it's like this really cool like car alarm that's going, I want you to focus on that. If it's like a bird chirping, that's even cooler. Definitely focus on the bird. If you got some music going on in the background, just listen to the music. I want you to just close your eyes. We're gonna relax and focus on your breathing. Remember nice big deep breaths and hold it and let it go. Excellent. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes if your eyes were closed and just kind of shake it out, get a little bit loose. We're all good. And now always, we're always gonna have homework, just cute little fun little homework assessments. So today, your homework, is to just tell me what your favorite bird is. So I said that my favorite bird was the penguin, specifically the little penguin, quote unquote little penguin. Google it, it's adorable, I love it. So I want you to tell me what your favorite bird is. All right, awesome. You can tell me why too if you wanna to get extra fancy. But yeah, thanks for joining me guys. I'm gonna be, um, I think I'm gonna take the weekends off. I might upload little things, but nothing like this. Um, but then I'll see you guys on Monday. So have a good one guys, bye.